Hey everyone, it's Shipwreck Samantha, and welcome to Art Tip Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, I am going to be reviewing and giving tips and constructive criticism on artwork submitted by you guys. So right here, you can see I have my trusty iPad, and I'm, I'm looking currently at all of the wonderful artwork. I love the under wonderful artwork, I can't talk today, of all the stuff you guys have tagged, so I'm going to go through and pick out some stuff, and we'll get started. This first one by Jazzy Charms and is an awesome little Starbucks coffee mug, and I'm, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the like Hershey syrup drizzle on top. That, you did a really good job with that. I can't even figure out what you did to do that. And the whipped cream itself is a really nice effect. I haven't even tried whipped cream before. It just looks hard unless you have a clay extruder. And I love that you have a little Starbucks um, sticker on there. The only thing I see on this, maybe it's just because I work with clay too, is the bottom of the cup looks sort of like a piece of chocolate. I guess like maybe just putting a bit of glaze just on the cup would give it that plastic look, if you know what I mean. I think that would give it an extra nice touch. All right, this next one by Clay Cutie Pies is adorable little monsters. I kind of like the effect, but they kind of look like they're melting. Oh, it says that the arm fell off from the green monster. You know what? If this is clay, with clay, I know that super glue is fantastic for gluing things back together. So if you still have the arm and you want to glue it back, that really helps. All right, Kara, let me know if I'm saying this wrong. Marinara Kara? Did I say that right? Um, please let me know if I didn't say that right. But Kara, girl, you know I love your work. This Cheshire Cat is just gorgeous. I'm in love with it. It's just so pretty. I mean, really the only thing that stood out to me when I was looking at this piece is the definition between his neck and his body, as along with his paws. Kind of the fluff around the outside of his face kind of blends with everything else. So maybe practice doing a little more shadowing, but that's really all I can see with this. You did a great job with the fur texture and the little sparkles. And plus it's such a small canvas, it's just beautiful. And the eyes have an awesome gradient on them. Alright, this next one is by Miss Fifi. And <laughs> it's an adorable little kawaii raindrop. And is that how you say kawaii? I think that's how you say it, right? I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm not good at pronouncing things apparently. Anyways. This is a really cute idea. I've never actually seen this done before. The only thing I can see on this one is I think there's kind of like little fingerprints on it. And you did do a good job of smoothing it out, but one thing that really helps with that is a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You just rub it over the top before you bake a piece. Once the rubbing alcohol dries, you can put it in the oven and it's good to go. All right, this next one is by Fandom Overload. It's a drawing of Elsa. And I, this is a really nice drawing. I think you did a really good job. One thing I see is maybe you could try doing a little, try practicing with shading and highlighting. It really gives a, some really good depth. Um, that would be something um, good for to practice. This is a really cool drawing. Uh, this next piece is by Clay Out Loud. It's a beautiful violin. That is pretty amazing. I'm amazed by the strings. Like, what did you use for that? And I love the touch of the head pin at the bottom. That's a really nice touch. It looks like you kind of, did you hand paint this? Or maybe you added really good depth of the shading on the outside. It looks a little bumpy to me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just a picture. Other than the little bit of rough edges and bumpiness, it's really beautiful. And I love the glaze with the touch of the glaze. And the next drawing we have is by the Artsy Wolfie. And it's a really cute wolf. It's very creative with the design of it and everything, and I really think you did a good job on that. But overall, I'm thinking the back legs don't look very accurate anatomy-wise, so maybe that's something you could work on. Um, it could really use a little bit more practice with anatomy, but I'm, that's not just you. I'm bad at wolf anatomy, too, and it's something we all need to practice. This piece is by Pink Pearl C. It is a beautiful little Rapunzel charm. And this is a really cute idea too. I all I'm seeing is that I love the little 
extra texture you gave to her hair, but on the back side of her hair it looks blank, like you only textured one side, so maybe texturing both sides gives it a little more depth, and like I said earlier, a little bit of rubbing alcohol clears it right up and gets rid of any fingerprints. Alright, this next one is by Freedom's Art, and it is a very impressive cloud jumper sculpture. You really did a good job on this. I, I'm i pretty amazed with the attention to detail you went with it. I'm just curious what kind of clay you used because it does look a little bumpy. Now, my one tip for painting with this is maybe next time one thing to think about is doing thin layers of paint. So the more layers you do and the thinner it is, you won't see the paint brush strokes along the piece and it looks much more clean and smooth. Alright, well that's it for today. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to get to your artwork. There were a lot more tags than I thought there would be. And honestly, I loved all of the artwork you guys showed me. It's just, I love the creativity of all of it. If you want your artwork to be featured in one of the Art Tip Wednesdays, be sure to hashtag LookShipwreck on Instagram or email me your picture at shipwrecksamantha at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.